Okay, here's a short video just to show the hot water shower system installed in the back of the Forerunner. Um, here's the water fill right here. And here's a key to, oh, there it is, a key to lock it up. And that's where I fill up the tank. And the tank is lowered, is down here. Uh, both the pumps are on right now. The, um, the four pump runs the shower and the aft pump runs to the heat exchanger and cycles it back to the tank. Um, here is the shower hookup with the shower wand. And I just shut off the truck a couple minutes ago, but here is the temperature gauge, so it says 130, and I put both pumps on to kind of cycle it so um, I can get an accurate temperature. So this is the heat exchanger pump, this is the shower pump. So, and then this is like a little quick connection. Let's see. <clears throat> Oops. So, it'll basically go like that when the truck is closed. And then you flip it up. Oops. There. Uh, there we go. And then you just turn this on for hot water. As you can see, it's steaming. Doesn't feel like 130, but it feels okay. It's pretty dang hot. <laughs> and I might end up changing the shower head because I think this one uses a little too much water. And I don't know, a shower head kind of sucks, so. And that's basically it, in a nutshell. Uh, I'll do another video to show what it kind of looks like better in the daytime. But, and then when you're done, you just twist it, pull it out, close it up, and then shut off both the pups. So the plan is when it's um, when the truck is off or, you know, to heat it back up, I can turn the truck back on and then the heat exchanger pump. Or if the truck is off and it's at a good temperature, I could just use the shower pump. And, and then it's on demand. It's two sure flow pumps. And so that's basically it. All right. Thanks for watching.